All right, Bulbasaur, just you and me, bud. We're uh, we're at a bit of a crossroads. I've been kind of dreading coming back to this game because this next fight absolutely steamrolled me last time. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, which I do occasionally. I don't pretend to be great at it, but I do do a little bit of thinking. We do have 24 level badges. <laughs> oh, can be used on monsters that are at least two levels below your highest monster. Well, so much for that plan. I was thinking I could maybe just, you know, scrape my team up a few levels. Um, that would have been like four levels for each of them, which would have got me like in line with my opponent. Nope. Nope, that's not allowed, apparently. We'll spend Bulbasaur's skill point. Um... I don't know what on. I don't know what could possibly help. I guess more defense. I guess more defense on Bulbasaur would be good. And, uh... Who else had one? Someone else had one. Ghastly. Ghastly had one. Um... Let's get some more health for Ghastly. And applying a buff also apply a shield. Under the fact of a shield, reduce all incoming damage by 15%. That is legit, actually. We'll get that. Okay, but... We can also maybe reapply some food, upgrade the current uh, food usage. Uh, we've got these carrots, which are 150 health, which seems pretty big. Uh, we've got some nice crit damage items as well, which could be useful on certain fellas. Uh, all right, okay. So he's got 18 defense across the board, which seems pretty good. But these will be straight upgrades for him. He's good. Straight upgrades for him. Straight upgrades for him. You have nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's start by giving you three of these. What else have we got? We've got two more carrots left. Okay. In that case, um, I'll replace two of your thing with health. Um, and then we have 8% crit damage, which I think... I'll do that. I might regret that decision. But if Wubat can get some really big numbers off, that could massively change, shift the dynamic, you know what I mean? Oh boy, this is going to be a rough one. I don't really have anything else I can do. I mean, I can, I can use uh, skill potions. I've got seven of them to give all my monsters more skills and stuff, but like the skills I've got right now aren't that useful. I'd rather wait till they hit level 30. It's a shame level badges are so shit. <laughs> okay, well, we've got no other options. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it again. This is the wrong direction. I went for it in the wrong dire direction. That happens sometimes. To be fair, I expected to be put like well, technically, I was put one screen away from where the fight is, but you know what I mean. I expected to be put near the fight, but I guess I I just wasn't. <laughs> I guess they didn't feel like it. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, then. Come on, Eric. Let's see what you got. So, what we remember from last time is that the thing in the middle is an absolute fucking machine. The Ninky Manka. The Kame has the fire punches, which are bad, but aside from that, he's not too bad. The Drakonov was a strong support, but again, that was all he really did. I think we need to take out the Ninkimanka first, which I think we have the best team for that, since both of these two have fire attacks, which he's weak to. So we're just we're just gonna we're gonna make that the, the initial focus, I think. Obviously, we're still run with our usual strategy, get shielding up, get buffing up, you know. All the usual good stuff we do. You're meant to be weak to fire, what the fuck? Weak to fire, it says it right there. Why? Why is it... I'm really confused. He says he's weak to fire, literally there in front of my face, but yet yeah, he's not got the little red up arrow that indicates he's... He's taking extra damage from it. What does this mean? Does any, is, this, is it like an ability he's got that means he just isn't weak to things he's weak to? Well, either way, we're still gonna we're still gonna go for it.
That burn was nice. We also managed to get a, a poison on the fellow at the back, which is nice. Okay, okay. What they're doing here isn't too worrisome. Did that just happen? Did I just I just get turn one? I honestly was not expecting that. Like at all. I'm sure that didn't even happen last time. It was the it was the fucking dragon at the end that caused us all the problems last time. Has my team got weaker? I feel like my team's got weaker. <laughs> that can't be allowed, can it? <sighs> Try again. I don't think this one's gonna go uh See he's weak he's weak to this. Is he only weak to physical fire attacks? Because it, it sure doesn't say that in his in his bio. Sancho holding on? No, he's not. Okay. I I don't I don't think we're winning. I don't think we're winning this. It's the strange feeling I've got, you know, due to uh, my entire team just repeatedly getting one shot. I don't think victory is on the cards right now. <laughs> he's shocked, he's poisoned, he's burned, he's got everything. I guess we can weakness him. Whatever that's worth. Can't even kill this thing. Never mind win the entire fucking the entire match. We can't even look, look how much he heals every turn. If it wasn't for my debuffs, I literally wouldn't be able to hurt him. I am so perplexed by this fight. How this is meant to just be like the next step after after Julia and the the jellyfish is beyond me. This is a massive step up in difficulty. This is not a difficulty curve, this is a difficulty brick fucking wall. And I'm slamming my face into it right now. It just feels like a lost cause, you know? <laughs> The nice thing is that they don't do much in the way of debuffs to me. Also, they just seem to be attacking Bulbasaur all the time now, which is a, a, a real mistake on their part, I must say. I kind of asked for this, didn't I? I pretty much baited this to happen. Oh, we're still, still, still in this, still alive, still up and running. I guess what I need to do is give my uh, my physical guys just more defense against all this bullshit they're pulling. Uh, okay, um, you're super weak to magic. Let's try and ping you off as well while we're here. This guy is actually, like, more supporty, isn't he? I was worried he's going to be an absolute machine because we've had these things give us trouble before, but he's actually more of a support guy. So I'm thinking maybe we'll try and keep two support guys on the field um, and just work through their damages one at a time. Seems like the most sensible option right now. Yeah, it should always just be chilling wind, shouldn't it? Cool. Yeah, that's... He gets a lot of attacks with that, but none of them are doing too much. This, however, 
is real bad. I remembered that being real bad. And then the guy who comes out afterwards just does like absurd single target damage. And I know I need to heal Bulbasaur up, I'm aware of that, but I'm not certain he would have survived the two stacks of burn and the poison even if I'd just put pure healing on him. I feel like my best bet right now is to try and make sure the other two don't also go down and then swap in my other healer. Stop shedding debuffs, it's very rude. Also healing. Stop stop healing. Like if you're gonna be an absolute machine that one shots my entire party, you could at least not also be really good defensively at the same time. You know what I mean? Okay. Alright, so we're no longer gonna be getting sick buffs. All we can do is just keep up the healing, keep up the shielding, and just hope. <laughs> All we have now is hope. <laughs> and may God have mercy on us all. And then he heals him back to full and the, the cycle continues. I don't think we're even going to get to the, the nasty dragon. I don't think we're going to be allowed to, because uh, my healer dies now. Execute goes down. Easy. No, no questions asked. And now I just... Yeah, it's just a matter of time until death, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be real. There's, there's no winning this now. I think I have... an idea for how I might be able to do slightly better at this, which is to lead with um, Bulbasaur, obviously, and then the two physical guys, and just try and ping the Chimera thing off the table, just immediately, on the basis that it, uh, it's weak to physical by the looks of it. Because then once they've done their job, the, the, the physical guys aren't that necessary and it's the magic guys who are better against this sort of part of the fight. But yeah, we, we actively did worse that time than, than last time, despite the changes in, in team and everything. So what we need to do, quite clearly, is level the fuck up. We can't just keep throwing ourselves at this. There's, not, there's no winning here. There might be winning when it comes to uh, certain other events though. Let's just let's just kill these. I can't be bothered running. I think we can we can probably turn one them. Don't think there's too much to worry about here, right? <laughs> A little bit overkill. See where where were those sort of numbers? I, I'm assuming you're more likely to get crits against lower level monsters considering everything crits here. But where were those sort of numbers when I was attacking my, the actual... That was a six star victory. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say though. When I was doing the actual fight that mattered, why was I not getting helpful amounts of damage? I was just missing all the fucking time. And that's another issue I was having, is that my team was staying on the field for so long. That they were just amassing... Like, Wubat was on the field for the entirety of that match, and uh, he, he was just amassing debuffs. He just... Like, he was blind and, and shit, you know, it was, it was just a miserable time to be a Wubat. <sighs> right, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to finally check out this area. The Keeper's Tower. I know the stuff we can do here. All kinds of stuff and things. I'm guarding the entrance to a sacred place. Only Keeper Masters may enter. Okay, well, that's not me yet. Give me time, though. This is the online arena, I need to be a Lancer, well fine, but I don't think that's going to be much use to me. Just for map completion's sake, though. I didn't mean to fall all the way down there, I'm sorry. That was that was a, a mistake on my part. Let's just stick our nose in. Yeah, okay. Cool. Nice online arena. I'm assuming you guys are... Yeah, you just do matchmaking. This is... You're just explaining what things are. 
but that's fine, don't really care. So. Dual circle, you need to be keeping up. Okay, this is where we uh, fought Will that one time. I think there's more matches we can do in there. This is the Infinity Arena, you need a rank of Keeper Seeker to enter. So what's this all about? This is the Infinity Arena. You'll be matched up against random monsters. If you beat them, you'll be matched up against higher level monsters. Continue until you lose or give up. The challenge is to reach the highest level possible with your team. Also, monsters in the Infinity Arena receive a buff that increases their damage every turn, so the battles won't get dragged out for too long. That's miserable. Um, I don't know if that's going to be something that gives me experience, so I'm not going to bother with it. Um, this, though, I think maybe will. Possibly. Will maybe. Possibly. And about what happened to us, familiar. I hope they will recover from this loss. It's really unsettling. What happened to our sanctuary? Duel challenge. Challenge your keeper to a duel. Very well then. I have multiple teams of monsters ready for such occasions. Which one would you like to challenge? Uh, I guess the baby one. We'll work our way up. If, th if this gives us experience at all, then I'll, I'll just fight through these because it's it's good practice, right? Do I need to like? worry about this at all? Do I need to buff up and stuff? I mean, they're level 11. What what are they realistically going to do to me? Honestly, a bit disappointed that I'm not just immediately one-shotting them all, to be honest. It lives. Okay, okay. They're buffing up. They're, they're doing some damage. Inflicting armor break and stuff. They've got a strategy. I'm honestly a little bit intimidated. Keep going at that slime. You'll get through it eventually, Bulbasaur. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, may as well. Go on, kill it. Fuck yeah. I'm so good at this game. Look at me winning. Look at me winning. This is this is a match that's definitely like meant to be an adequate challenge for me right now. And therefore, you know, I, I should be struggling with this. But look how well I'm doing. Okay, I haven't even needed to heal until now. Honestly, the fact that I need to heal at all is, is, is kind of a little bit sad. But <laughs> sometimes that's just how it is, you know. I thought my, my team was getting a bit better offensively, but they seem to have dropped off a lot again. I think we sort of, we had a sort of, uh, we had a peak. We had a peak around the point when we uh, we recruited Gaibo to the team. Because, uh, let's face it, he was doing a lot of damage for his level at the time, but he sort of evened out a bit. Now he's still good, don't get me wrong, but he's... Uh, no longer quite the uh, absolute machine he once was. Thunderstorm barely does... I mean, th Voltage... Oh, his Voltage is only level 2 in Thunderstorms. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, Voltage barely does more damage than Thunderstorm, but... Yeah. Kill it? Probably won't kill it. Which is a bit of a shame, really. It's taken me entirely too many turns to kill these level 11s. <laughs> but we did it. We achieved victory somehow. The the odds were against us, but experience. Brilliant. If you have my monster team, I can see that you did a good job raising your monsters, but I also have other teams prepared if you're ready for another challenge. For now, take your reward. It's some bronze. Alright, let's go again. Let's go again. Let's step it up to the Seeker Challenge. Okay, okay, I think we can take him. I'm a bit upset that I never got one of those bats. I'm actually going to, like, even though they're half my level, I'm actually going to, like, buff up and stuff from here on out. I'm a little bit intimidated by everything this game throws at me, honestly. Okay, we can maybe kill that bat. We just need to get... Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Bat gone. Bat done. Bat sorted.
Let's go. More heals. Yeah, I got a magic buff. That's what we were looking for. It wasn't specifically what we were looking for, but we'll, we'll take it. I wasn't sitting here rubbing my palms together going, Oh, I, I hope I got a magic buff. But, you know, if, it, if, it, if, it, if I get one, then, then great. Fucking A. I'm kind of sad that his his Woobat looks better than my Woobat. I know my Woobat's more powerful, but the default skins, the, the, the default palette, I should say, just looks so much cooler. It really does. I don't know if Bulbasaur ever gets access to uh, a move that removes status effects, but if he does, that will be something I should really be focusing on picking up. <laughs> we get him? We got him. Hell yeah. Come on, Bulbasaur. Bring out the big guns now. Yeah, look at those numbers. Amazing. Fully impressed. Skill potion for that one. Not bad, not bad. I really want to try and get to level 30 with like my entire team, ideally. Because I feel like we're going to get access to so much more good stuff at level 30, which could really turn the tides. So if I mean, if I don't win, you know, presumably I'm going to get to the point that I'm going to not be able to win one of these. I don't think I'm going to be able to steamroll all of them. I didn't even look at what level these ones were, but presumably they're creeping ever closer to my level. Um... Yeah, you're just resistant to fucking everything, aren't you? That's that's a that's a real shame. But uh, yeah, if I don't get to level 30, if I get stumped by one of these fights, or if I beat them all and it's not enough to get me to to level 30s across the board, then I'll probably just grind on some wild monsters for a bit because I think I think that would be a real sort of turning point. I think I'll get a lot more out of being level 30 than out of any other level up I've had for a, a very long time in this game, you know what I mean? Any chance we can kill this off? I mean, it's poison, so I think we're probably in the clear. Yeah, that's gonna die. Okay, and you get that one. Oh, we weren't in the clear, fuck. And now the shielding up, brilliant. Brilliant, this is exactly what I wanted to have. This guy's got one of those uh, spooky ghost skeletons that we've only seen as a champion so far. I'm wondering where we where you get some of these. Like, a lot of the champion monsters we have, haven't actually seen in the wild at all. I'm wondering when or if we get access to them. I'm assuming we do eventually. But we, we seem pretty far in the game and we've not seen a lot of them yet. You know what I mean? Should we just... Yeah, let's try and get shock on everything. Like trying to do damage isn't really his forte at the moment. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. There's the spooky skeleton. Oh, the the buff in it. He's brought his ace out and he's he's gearing it for battle. They've got so many poison stacks on me now. Like I could I could legitimately lose this. Look how low health Bulbasaur was on. Still got two more monsters in reserve as well. Okay. Well, this guy doesn't like fire, so that's good. Weird for a skeleton who is literally on fire to not like fire, but I'm not going to argue. And if we can clear both of these up this turn. Looks promising. Looks promising. Not quite. That's fine. I mean, we've got a sufficient level advantage that even if something really upsetting here happens and he takes out all three of these, I think my, my B team could deal with them. It's worrying how close they've got, though. This is a really good team they've got here. I suppose because it's uh, a lot of poison and stuff, that scales really well with level, so even though they, they are massively lower level than me, the poison will still do a fucking number on me. Shred is so good. <laughs> I need to use Shred more. 
It's more noticeably good, admittedly, against uh, lower level monsters like this, but... I think the overall damage you get out of it is always going to be higher than Claws. It's just a shame this game is uh, more focused around uh, single targeting things down, you know what I mean? Clearing the board one at a time seems to be the optimal strategy. Let's spend the skill points because I don't know what's coming next, but I'm assuming it's going to start to get a little bit tricky. Do we get like one of these second level? It's a bit more damage. It's a lot more mana though. Eh, let's get Firestorm level 2. And Sandshrew... Really just doesn't need anything here, does he? Uh, should we just... Let's get him Shred level 2. I'm starting to see the value in these abilities. Okay, let's see what the next one is then. The Ranger Challenge. Is this actually the highest one I can do right now? No, wait, am I? Am I a Dragoon? What rank am I? Can I tell anywhere? No, I'm a Knight, okay. I'm not a Dragoon. <laughs> So I can do the, this one and the next one then. Okay. Let's see what level this one is. 25, yeah. So the next one's probably going to be 30, isn't it? They're just going up in fives. So if we can beat the 30, that's a good way to beating the level 32 fight that we've got coming up, I should think. We'll call that our our uh, our dry run. You know what I mean? Our practice run. Honestly, this whole this whole video is basically just a training montage for my monsters. <laughs> and I'm all for that, you know. A little bit of cheesy 80s training montage never hurt anyone. I'm very impressed with that turn one kill. I wasn't expecting that against level 25s. They're not that much lower level than me. This could be nasty. Oh no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're fine, we're fine. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Okay, um... Kinda want rid of the cat, because it heals. So we're gonna focus that down. Their team isn't, like, threatening enough to have to worry about fighting three DPSs at once, so... That motherfucker with the shield is, uh upsetting me a little bit, but I think we need to kill this first because those things are just dangerous. They're just genuinely dangerous, no matter what level we're looking at. So I think we've got, yeah, we've got a move that hits them real hard. Whew. Had this sort of dreaded feeling in the back of my head there that it was just going to be miss, 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 miss. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm going to get super bad look like that, though, I'd rather have it now than in a match that actually matters, you know what I mean? Okay, don't actually need much healing this turn, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's, it's buffs and shields, you know what I mean? And debuffs on the opponent as well. It's everything. It's everything except damage. <laughs> I think this game does a really good job of handling buffs and debuffs, actually. The way it, it tacks them onto other abilities to make them feel more viable. Because in a lot of turn-based games, you really just don't bother with them, right? You're like, oh yeah, this is a cool thing. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hit things with the biggest numbers I can. But by like allowing you to like combo things together the way this game does, you can, you can utilize those sort of things without feeling like you're wasting your turn, which is, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Good way of doing it, I think. Big fan of a lot of what this game does, honestly. It's uh, it's a shame it, it took me so long to get around to this game because it it technically came out. I, th I think I think it was early access for a while, but I think it is officially out now, as of this year. I don't know that for certain. I'll have to double check. But wait, was that? I can never remember which one is a shift stone and which one's a swift shift. 
Yes, okay, cool, cool. We can we can evolve someone. This is big. This is kind of what we need, honestly. I think he may be Guybel. Allows the monster to keep equip an additional accessory is very good. But that is just like makes him a passive monster. Also gives him more health, which is exactly what he needs right now. He doesn't become quite as damaging as he does in his light shift. But it gives him more survivability. And obviously is buffing literally everyone else as well. I don't know, the light shift's really cool because an additional accessory is big and look how much extra attack he gets. This is a tough choice, but I think I'm going to go base, up, base off looks more than anything else and go with the dark shift. They're both really good, but the dark shift looks better, so let's do it. I wasn't expecting to get one of these from this. I'm very glad I did, though. Cool. Awesome. Right, we've got one more match here. I wish you'd stop talking about Will's Familiar all the time. Seems a bit unnecessary. I think we've already covered that topic. Right, level 30 match. This is this is make or break. This is proof that I can do it. What's he got? Okay, interesting team. We know Glodras are fucking terrifying because uh, that's kind of what's causing me trouble with the new fight. The rest? Like, I, I'm just not super sure what half of them do. I've not fought a lot of them enough to, to be super familiar with them yet. We'll work it out, though. Okay, okay, we see some weaknesses. That's nice. The Dodo... I don't remember the Dodo doing much when we were fighting Wild Ones, so we won't worry too much about that. Maybe we'll get the fish down first, because it's... Maybe we won't get the fish down first. I guess that's what the Dodo does. <laughs> I guess we learned. We learned something here today. He's a bit of a Bulbasaur. Fucking hell, they're all, they're all buff bots. That's pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty. We're, we're okay, though. We'll, we'll be fine. Stop worrying, we'll be fine. Stop panicking. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, get through. Yes, 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 yes. And then, if claws can also go through without being blocked by the dodo, we might... 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 Yes, good. One down. Cool. Big early lead. Oh, look at this. They're, they're literally all buffing each other. That's a lot of hits, but not too bad. That's worse. That's... That's a lot worse. You might have noticed that's a lot worse. You might have spotted that one. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Suddenly we're in uh, we're in a lot of trouble. I don't know how much shit we're gonna have thrown at us by the dude at the back, but we know the guy in the middle is a threat. I don't think shielding would just be worth it, just because we can hit it super effectively. And even if the dodo blocks, it will hit that super effectively. We're gonna try and take out the slag hammer first. This is fine. This is fine, honestly. God, they heal so much every turn. And they're still buffing. I'm starting to think I'm not going to win this. I'm starting to think I'm in trouble. Keep trying. Stop missing. This is the problem. As soon as they start getting stacks of, of buffs up, you just can't fucking hit them anymore. Okay, okay, that was lucky. Okay. I think those are pretty nasty as well, honestly. You might have to keep ignoring the birds and just going for whatever's at the back. I know, I mean, this is probably going to be a kill, isn't it? Shit. 
shit, 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 shit. I don't like this. Not a fan of this at all. Not a fan of the way this is going. Why is the bird weak to earth? That's just confusing. I'm not complaining because it allows me to get some defense buff up, but... Please just hit it. We successfully did zero damage that turn. Hooray. And look what they're doing to me. That was their weak guy. This guy just crits every hit. <laughs> like, what? How is that allowed? How is that legal? I don't think I've got enough damage to physically kill them over their regen now. Maybe my team's just bad. Maybe this is what I've, I've, I've been failing to understand this whole time. Maybe I just need a better team. I feel like I've invested so much into it, into this team at this point though. Like I've light shifted three of them. I've given them all my best food and everything. I feel like it's too late to suddenly try and switch up my team, but... I'm getting absolutely stomped by all of these trainers. Please stop doing that. I mean, I guess I'll... Cast Spore. Ooh, 76 damage. Ooh, brilliant. Is that Bulbasaur dead? Ah, he's hanging on. Hanging on by a thread. Can Bulbasaur hit anything for any damage at all? He really can't, can he? Please. Thank you. Thank you for actually letting me get an attack through. I'm just going to get healed off at the end of the turn, but... Oh, hang on. Remove buffs. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, shall we? Why have I not been doing that? Get rid of those fucking buffs. Remove all buffs. That's my only hope of winning here. I think maybe if I'd started doing that as soon as I sent Execute out, I might have actually uh, been onto a winner here, but... I was just ignoring my abilities. That's kind of on me, honestly. Can't blame the team for that. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Don't know if you've noticed. Things aren't quite going my way right now. Please, please, for the love of God, stop blocking every single attack I do. I can't hurt them. I can't hurt them at all. This is like, this is actually worse than the dude who was just one-shotting all my team. Because this this just feels like torture. <laughs> I feel like I'm actively being bullied by this game. More heals. More attempts at hitting the target I want to actually hit. I got level 3 whirlwind, didn't even see that. <laughs> Been ignoring that one. More heals though. I can just get like a turn where I don't desperately need to heal the entire team. And I can start removing debuffs and actually manage to hit some fuckers occasionally. I don't want to kill the dodo though. I know that's the one, the one I can reliably hit. But... 
I do that, he'll have three high damage monsters out and I will just lose immediately. Okay, I think this turn maybe we can start pruning some debuffs. Maybe, if we're lucky. If the game is feeling particularly generous. Okay, that was actually a bit of damage there for once. I'm impressed. <gasps> the bird! The bird is going down! The end, it's... It's not in sight. The end is not in sight at all. But... At least I can comprehend an end, you know what I mean? I can understand exactly what an end might be. The essence of end exists within my realm. Don't block it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I still miss like every fucking swing, but... And I need to heal this turn, so I can't really do anything else to follow up, but at least it didn't block. And we can at least be thankful for that. It's throwing me a bone, you know what I mean? I feel like Bulbasaur doesn't block anywhere near as much as opponents with blocking abilities do, but maybe I'm I'm biased, you know? God, so much fire. So much burning. Please kill. Please. Please. Oh, it happened. <laughs> it finally happened. And then I can I can healing wave and almost get everyone back to full health. Look at that. Isn't that good? Isn't that cool? I need to kill that before it starts getting Well, he's already getting too too many buffs up. But before he gets even more too many buffs up, I need to kill that. Also, this is probably going to be, yeah, absurd. I believe it is weak to earth. Yeah, well, technically we can one-shot it if we're lucky. Fucking beautiful. Fucking A. Was not expecting that to actually work, but... I'm so goddamn happy it did. I think we might have this. I think we might we might win this now. Who'd have thought just having two healers spam healing wave every turn can actually keep you from dying? <laughs> it's been pretty fucking close a lot of the time, though. We're still not completely off the hook, but we're getting there. That's the important thing. We're getting there. Oh shit. You know what, I should heal. But I think we can kill that. Oh fuck. That was a mistake, I should have just healed. I should have just healed. Why did I not just heal? If I lose because of that, I'm gonna be fucking kicking myself. Lava wave level three. That might be it for Bulbasaur. Okay, no more stupid decisions. If we're on low health, we heal. It doesn't matter what it looks like we might be able to accomplish. Who cares? We heal on low health. Not just not just this fight we're talking about. Forever. For the rest of this game, for all games. If you're on low health, you heal. Rule of thumb, honestly. Do not play with fire in video games, because they will burn you. Video games are assholes like that. Look, I could technically tackle this for half its health if I get some lucky crits, but I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I've learnt my lesson. Lessons have been learned, I promise. Okay, claws is best damage here. Very nice. And uh, we heal again. I'm not going to get killed by a dodo. I'm not going to let that happen. These motherfuckers went extinct for a reason. And it's because they're assholes. They were just being pricks to, to all the other 
species in New Zealand? I want to say they lived in New Zealand, but I think that's wrong, because Kiwis live in New Zealand, and they can't have two funny birds. New Zealanders can't have the monopoly on all the funny birds in the world, but we win. No one hit 30. That's really disappointing. That's really disappointing. I'm really sad about that. Didn't even get anything super helpful. More defense would be nice. Um, doesn't really need a heal is the thing. I think he's always going to be better off using Forge if he's uh, got a turn for being defensive. Yeah, just more defense, honestly. Okay. Okay. How close are we all from leveling? Can we see that anywhere? Halfway. He's only 28, fuck. Um, shit, it's still a, wise, a, while, a while's off, but I think that's just what we're going to have to do. So, uh, I apologize, I apologize, apologize and eyes for this episode being a bit of a sidetrack. And it looks like the next one is too, because we're just going to have to grind our team for a bit. Um, I might do a bit off camera, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, uh, but I, I don't think we're going to try fighting Eric again until we've uh, achieved level 30 with the team, so uh, yeah, see you later.